Greetings! In today's video I will knit a warm baby sack. For this project I'm using double pointed needles. You can use circular if you want. I'm using long needles. Um, this is These both are size 15. Uh, I'm using hook eye or 5.5 uh, millimeters scissors and I'm using bulky yarn which is actually roving. Um, I will be doubling this this yarn is gonna be doubled. Double the yarn okay and cast on 32 stitches and uh, by the way if I did not mention um, how many of those balls I'm using it's uh, I will be using probably four or five of the balls before you start knitting, um, I would suggest to you to kind of smooth your yarn just like this so it has the same length. Both strands have same length. Okay? And when you run out of that length, you do it again. Our next step is to knit uh, six, no, I'm sorry, seven rows of knit stitches. So you just knit, knit, knit. Here I am at the end of my um, first row, my last three stitches. So I will knit, knit, and my last stitch I usually slip, but you can uh, you can knit it if you want. Okay, and we're ready for a second row. And uh, we just start as we usually do with knitting. And we will knit this entire row again. And then you will continue knitting five more rows. And uh, when I have knitted seven rows, I will show you what you will do next. I knitted my entire seventh row, okay, and now we will knit this way. Turn around and eighth row, which is even row, what you will do is you will knit four stitches, two, three, four, and then we will purl 24 stitches, purl, 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 and um, until uh, the last four stitches, which you will knit again. So I purled all my stitches in here, 24 of them, and I have uh, four stitches left, and these four stitches will be knitted. Knit, 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 and you can knit, and I will slip. Now the ninth row, in other words, odd row, is going to be all knitted. So knit this ninth row, knit it all stitches knit. This is going to be our tenth row and we will knit first four stitches, purl 24 stitches and then knit last four stitches. So knit, 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 and now purl, 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 entire row until last four stitches.
Okay, so I am here at the end of my second part. This is my second piece that I have knitted, uh, which is identical to the first piece. And this is my tenth row, so I need to do a couple more purl stitches. Purl, purl. Let me see how many more I have left. Four. Okay, now we need to do knit, knit, knit. And you either knit or you can slip. I slip. And I will continue uh, knitting in this manner that I will uh, alternate uh, odd numbers, odd uh, number of rows. I will knit. And on the other side, I will knit first four stitches, purl in the middle and then knit last four stitches until you uh, have 34 rows total including this edge okay so now this is our 11th row so we will just knit 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 and then next row will be my uh, 12th row and that will be 4 knit, 24 purl and 4 knit and you will repeat this until like I said you have 34 rows. This is my 34th row that I'm working on okay and we are going to finish uh, purling so I have to purl, 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 and one, two, three, four, four last stitches knit, 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 and I will knit also this one, okay, and I am ready, I'm ready to put my two pieces together. Actually, I'm not ready yet. I have to first uh, transfer these stitches, 16 stitches on one double pointed needle and 16 stitches on another double pointed needle. Let's do another one. This is a gift for a friend of mine. She's having a baby. So I thought that um, this um, some of you might experience the same thing that friend of yours has a baby or somebody in a family. And uh, when they are being newborn, they like to be kept nice and warm, right? So what we need to do now is connect this this part to this part and start knitting in a circle which means we need to start knitting from here all around continue here and then continue connecting these two together so what we are going to do is I will start knitting and I can do it either way. I can do start knitting over here in the back or I can go and start knitting here in the front because I haven't cut my yarn yet here. So maybe that's what I will do because it's going to be easier uh, for me. So now I will knit this entire row. Okay, so we can go and do it this way. So just start knitting entire row. So I just took this uh, off, but um, uh, you just start knitting with the second second stitch. Okay, so knit entire row. Okay, here I am at my last four stitches, so I knit them, okay? Knit, 
knit, knit. So this is our first row of the front. So I knitted the whole thing. By the way, if you have, uh, uh, if you're working with circular needles, now you would already have this on a circular needle. But I do need to kind of connect it now to my, to, to together to this, okay? So what I will do is, actually I shouldn't have knitted this one. What I will do is, I will knit these two together. Knit this one and this one together. It will be stronger, um, you know, the, it, you won't see really as a big gap. And tighten this up as much as you can. Tighten it up, okay, so you don't have big gap. And keep knitting. Knit. Knit, knit, and knit all around here, and then we will connect these two. I don't like to work on circular needles, so um, uh, for you it may be a little easier if you work on circular needles. This might be uh, one of the hardest uh, parts of your project, but once you put this together in a circle, you're going to be fine. Knit, 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 and we will take that last stitch. Okay, make sure that it doesn't twist. So we have to we have to make sure that everything is good, that the ba the wrong side is facing wrong side, and we will move the last stitch. I just moved the last stitch from this needle, or actually from this needle onto this needle on the first needle and we will knit these two stitches together. Let me just move these stitches down more so they don't slip off. That's why I work with these bamboo needles because they the stitches don't slip as much. Okay, so we connected everything into the circle. Everything is connected into the circle. And this is our second row. Okay. And what you will do now from now on, you will knit in a circle. You knit all the stitches. All the stitches. Just knit knit, 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 knit all around, all around these, knit many rows until desired length. Okay, and I will, um, I will see you when my entire length has been knitted. So I just will knit in a circle all the time. And just to explain to you what's going on is this is the front, this is the back, and this is going to be turned into a little hoodie. Okay, and then we will have the, the body part over here down here. So that's what's going on at the moment, okay? So here I am, um, fin almost finished with the baby uh, sack. 
and uh, right now I will be working on this part down here and I will show you how to finish it up um, and um, when I put this front together with the um, with the back uh, I started knitting uh, around right on my double pointed needles and I made 40 rows all the way down here all the way down here 40 rows so when you get to the beginning of the row um, and I hope you were marking if you don't remember where is your beginning uh, uh, after knitting 40 rows you do need to start knitting two together so we will knit two together entire row okay And um, as you remember, when we were joining on those two, in those two joints, in those two, in a very uh, uh, first row of the joining, the uh, those two two parts together, uh, I knitted two together. So originally, without knitting two together in the first row. I had 64, 32 plus 32, 64 um, stitches. After I joined, I had 62, 62 stitches. So right now, when I uh, knit two together, uh, all around, I will have 31 stitches. And so, just keep knitting two together and when I am finished I will tell you what to do next knit two together Okay, uh, so I knitted all my stitches together and I have 31 stitches now and I will knit four rows. Just knit all around four rows. Knit, knit, knit and again mark your beginning of the row if you need to. I remember where my beginning uh, of the row is, but you, especially if you work on circular needles, you might need to, you might need to uh, mark your uh, beginning. I am finished with my knitted four rows, one, two, three, four, and this is the row that I was uh, knitting two together. And I am ready to knit two together again. And since we have 31 stitches, the last stitch is not, uh, it's not gonna, be, it's gonna be knitted by itself. So we will knit two together, 30 stitches, and then the last stitch just knit one. So knit two together again, all around our bottom of the sack bag baby bag or whatever you want to call it okay i finished knitting my stitches together and now we will knit three rows so just knit 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 all around for three rows so I am finished with this uh, uh, with the three rows and now we need to take this last knitted stitch and pull it pull this stitch through all of these stitches okay so what we will do I usually uh, with the back of the hook I transfer the stitches from needle to the hook and then I take that stitch, just that one stitch, not all of those stitches, and 
and I pull it I pull it through these stitches okay and now next next I just transfer from needle to the hook and then take the hook I hold it here so I control the yarn because I kind of pull on it a little bit so it doesn't get off the hook and the hook goes down right and then in those in this space here it's easier to pull through you see and another one you can take it off the hook you can keep this uh, stitch on the hook whatever you want I'm showing you both ways just move this these stitches and again hold hold this stitch kind of pull it gently and with the with the beak of the hook down and pull it through all of them it helps me to do it that way but you, you know if you have any other technique different technique to do it then do it that way you don't have to do it exactly like I'm doing it um, the uh, the only thing is that we want to pull this last stitch through all of the stitches which I did right now okay and and here we are we have finished bottom and as you see it actually looks kind of like giant hat okay and you could put a tassel in here if you want uh, which would kind of look nice but I would put, this is going to be for a boy, so I would put maybe tassel for a girl, but not for the boy. And um, um, now you can either um, weave in all the ends and leave it as it is, okay? Or you could crochet all around the edges, you could do that for an ax you know for an added accent um, I'm not sure really what I'm going to do yet but um, actually I know what I'm going to do I will I will sew this together and it's going to be like a little hood so as you see this is how it is supposed to uh, look like okay and that is the bottom. Uh, this top can be folded down or could be held up and here over here on the top I will sew this together for the uh, for the hood. So the baby is going to have a hood right there. Okay and this is my uh, finished project. Uh, as you see I have sew the hood together on the top and uh, I also tucked in all the end ends the tails weaved it in and this is for a uh, newborn baby so if you want to make it for a you know little bit bigger baby then you could probably uh, get uh, a, a knit not 40 rows but let's say 50 rows and then do the and then knit this end okay and uh, it's plentiful roomy so it's not hard to put the baby in and that's about it I hope you um, enjoyed uh, watching the video hopefully you might even want to knit along thank you very much uh, for subscribing and I will see you with uh, when I'm doing another project thank you so much